We're here today in very sunny Spain with Puma for the Forever Faster campaign where we'll be learning about how some footballers see the game differently and today we're joined by Antoine Griezmann and Memphis Depay. Okay, so we're going to start off by finding out how well Memphis and Griezmann know each other. We're going to keep the score and Memphis, we're going to start with you. So the first question about Antoine, which team did Griezmann make his senior debut for? <sighs> Too easy, bro. <laughs> Real Sociedad? Yeah! That's correct, that's correct. Yeah. That's absolutely right. So 1-0. Antoine, Memphis made his senior debut for which club? Ooh. <laughs> Tick. Is that not Tick. too easy? He's right, 1-1. One, one. Antoine scored France's first goal at the 2018 World Cup, but who is it against? You see, I was a bit, a bit disappointed because 2014, I was, my, I was there myself. Yeah, with, with and in 18, we weren't, so I, 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 I wasn't too bothered to watch it. <laughs> so, have a guess. I, I don't know, maybe, uh, was it Russia? Russia. It was Australia. Yeah. Australia. Australia. Yeah. No, penalty. Penalty. Moi aussi. Mm. Yeah, yeah. In do. Brazil. <laughs> yeah, but shoot. <laughs> but, yeah, but okay. It's nice. Memphis's first music track he released was oh. called What? <laughs> you don't listen to my music, bro. It's okay. I don't know. You don't know. I no. think No Love. Yeah, that's right. Was that's it? right. Yeah, correct. No yeah. Love. No Love. Why No Love? No love? Yeah. Why No Love? Yeah. It's not always good for, for a person to, you know, embrace too much. You have to also protect, because otherwise you get hurt sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Comprends? Yeah. We are good people. <laughs> we are good people, bro. <laughs> okay, Memphis, which team does Antoine support? <sighs> this guy supports Ooh, everything, I have a lot, bro. bro. This guy you're, supports you're everything. Have Brooklyn Nets. Football team, football team. Earliest football team. Atleti? Yeah. As a child, he, he cannot say no. It, As a child, <laughs> he cannot say no. It, of course, it, it did say. It did say. I have a lot. He will it, it say, say yes now. I have a lot. What? Le uh, Le Leon, Leon was the answer I had. Leon. Oh, yeah. Marseille. Are you from there? Oh, yeah. Close. Me Atleti. Peñarol. Antoine, slightly easier one here because I gave you a difficult one. Then, so what animal does Memphis have tattooed on his back? Lion. Lion. Correct. Yeah. That, that, that was the easy one. That was such a silly yeah. question. Because he's a lion. <laughs> Okay, chance to retake. Really crazy, yeah. <laughs> chance to retake the lead. That was an open net. I gave right, him that right, one. Right, okay. um, which side did Griezmann join from the first time he joined Atleti? So which side did he sign from the first time he signed for Atletico Madrid? Uh, Real Sociedad, no? Correct. Yeah. So Antoine, Memphis made his Netherlands debut in which year? Well, 2014. That's 2014, but I think 2013, no? He said 14. My yeah. debut. Okay, yeah, yeah, debut for Netherlands. Yeah, 14. 14. Well, we'll Call see. it a draw. Yeah. A draw. A draw. Okay, okay, so now we're going to play a round of me or him. Who is the best dribbler? Why is that? Why? Yeah. What because makes I, him I, I don't make dribbling. He's a winger, yeah. naturally. Mm. Nah, he dribbles also good, but he likes to... I just pass. You just know, pass. Yeah. Unselfish. Make the game. <laughs> the best fashion sense. <laughs> you again? Yeah, yeah. please, bro. It's <laughs> Memphis. Okay, this one could be could be compet competitive. The best dance moves. <laughs> yeah, you're always dancing yeah, when you, you celebrate. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no, you you have, you yeah, have some yeah, dance yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him on his birthday. <laughs> you know. But well, you're still going you. Come on, man. <laughs> African runs in my blood. Yeah. Come on, we got the rhythm, bro. <laughs> the best penalty taker. Me, bro. Hmm? You going yeah. with yourself? For me, it's me. Yeah. For me, it's me. Oh, I think. A stalemate. Nah, it's like you have to be confident you have in to be yourself. Confident but, in yourself absolutely. but Antoine is shoot is really. Um, he knows where to shoot. You know, like mm -hmm. he can put a top corner. A bit more think accuracy. Really, maybe. Yeah, but I think mine is is more more variation. Power. Panenka. Shit, power. No, I can't panenka. make panenka. No, no. This one maybe could split opinion. The better cook, so chef, cooking food. You can't cook Memphis now? I can cook too. You can't? Yeah. So you're going with yourself? Can you, can you cook? 
at all? I can make something, you know. What, what would be your go-to dish if you, if you were Jeez. looking for someone? It, I, I'm gonna give you a, a fried egg <laughs> <laughs> with pancakes, waffle. I'll no, I'm, I, I don't cook. I don't have time to cook, to be honest. Next one up, the better music taste. No, Memphis. Memphis, an artist himself. But I'm a good nah, DJ. You're a DJ? Yeah, I'm a good DJ, yeah. Right, finally, the harder worker. So on the pitch, maybe in training, who puts in more work in training? In uh, training? Me. In the game? Yeah. Antoine. Uh, I think, you know, he he works really, really hard in the in the, in the the games, you know. Only in the pitch. <laughs> Only I never the pitch. go to the then. gym. I don't like gym. He's lying, I'm lying. Save it for the big moments. Okay, nice. perfect. Because Thank he knows you. that, you know, in our team you have to run a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> it's good to say, if me, I'm more in practice also running a lot. Yeah. A bit more of an Maybe not it. so smart sometimes, he's smart. <laughs> okay, it's time for the volleys. I'm going to face this way. Memphis, just tell me where to shoot and let's go. Anytime. <laughs> right. Oh! oh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, translator. <laughs> translator for Tra Manchester. Bl blind. <laughs> not, not hearing it. <laughs> Droite. Oh, perfect. I need to calm. I need to relax. I need to relax. Yeah. I was on a sprint. Ready? Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. That's better. Okay. That's better. I let it bounce yep. for me. I rushed the other one. Oh. Two one. Clean, 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 clean. Two one. Well, Memphis, thanks for joining us. Uh, just to learn a little bit about how you see the game differently to other footballers, and that's my first question: How does Memphis see the game differently? Well, I don't know how other players feel when they they go inside the game, but I feel like pretty relaxed. Uh, I changed a bit, like of how I felt like over the years, I guess, because you know. As I also changed my position, playing more like as a forward striker than a left wing. Most of the time, you get um, yeah judged as a striker by scoring goals. So you know that somehow you have to manage to get those yeah you know goals. Do you think you can relax a bit more when you play striker as opposed to left wing? Because you're no. not you're maybe not constantly involved as much. Or? Uh, it's just a different type of dynamic of like intensity because you like pressing more like in the width of the, the pitch than, than the length. And as a striker nowadays, you have to go either with the, with the back, yeah. the wing back, running a lot, defending. So it's different, but in terms of stats in, in kilometers, like you run more or less the same. So like when you, when you receive a ball, I guess, so you, are you, obviously you're scanning before it, but then once you've got the ball, do you know what, already like where your next pass is gonna be? Is it instinctive? Or like in any situation, do you have like a you know like a plan A, then a plan B maybe, or is it all just off the cuff, all no. all instinct? Obviously, I try to to scan, you know, definitely before I receive mm -hmm. the ball, and then it also depends like which codes you play on there because um, there are certain tactics or let's say rules that people have to follow, like making runs. Yeah. So if I know that I can receive the ball in the pocket and I am able to turn then, for example, somebody already have to react to me, you know, turning and then he, he should be already on his way so I can play a through ball pass. But if you don't train that or you don't have the, the, um, the yeah, the, 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 the rules in the team, then it's more of a, you have to look what he's going to do, if he's going to stay wide or he's going to run. So it all depends where uh, where you play and in what team i've played in in many teams but you have to co you know communicate with your teammates as well that makes it more easier um sometimes it's also good to not think too much you know um i think i'm a i'm a player that creates sometimes things that you know spaces that doesn't really exist yet or whatever and and you know sometimes i find the goal yeah, and of course, when you do score, you have your celebration, which means blind and deaf to the world. I actually repeated it earlier over there when I missed an you like open it. net. Yeah, I love it. But uh, seems like a lot of players like it. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I'm, I'm going to lead into that now. But of course, like blind and deaf to the world, I guess it it means sort of blocking out the noise to an extent. And does that 
kind of does that ethos i guess sort of help you in high pressure situations high pressure games you know yeah it became my cheat code you know mm -hmm. and it's it's even way more outside of the the pitch than inside because yeah. inside as a football player it's 90 minutes it's amazing the stadium is full that pressure that like that passion that uh, the supporters have so that's not the problem most of the times with football players it's more like dealing with um you know whatever happens outside you know like could be media could be the team is not winning games so the pressure of you know outside with the support is what they say or could be families anything that you know distracts you from yeah being at your best inside the field because you don't really have time to think too much yeah, yeah. on the pitch when you step on it it's more so be prepared for that one day in the week or two days in the week you know every training locking in and it's like a ton of vision and then you know for me and for everybody maybe it means something else but it works for me and um, ever since I found out what to do it became more easier yeah and you mentioned then as well at the start of that question outside the pitch things off the pitch you've obviously used i guess that celebration and your platform to inspire many young children as well in the likes of Ghana as well can you tell us a little bit about that um i think it's important to communicate with the youth to be true to yourself because for example me i'm not a perfect nobody's perfect but you try to you know leave something positive behind every time you step off the pitch but also like with my social media I embrace what I really love. So if it's, you know, posting about football, that's what I'm doing. Then if it's about, about fashion, whatever I'm interested in. And, and that's why I speak to many different um, sectors or many different children, uh, but also like older people, because, you know, I think that seeing me having that courage, uh, you know, give them that courage as well to be like, okay, this is me and I embrace that. I think that um, that I was one of the first one to really step outside that box and just be like, okay, this is me. If you want to accept it, you know, all love. If not, move on. I'm gonna do my thing regardless. So it's uh, it's good for for the youth to understand that the power that you hold within, you know, embrace that, and and you know you will benefit of it in the pitch because you become so strong. If you are not reachable to these people, it's it's. It's, um, it's powerful. It's powerful. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap on today's shoots, and I've just got one more thing to attend to. I'll see you soon.